technology is the central nervous system of your organization. It's what empowers and enables everything around the future of work. Real-time feedback, communication, collaboration. All of these things are enabled by technology. Last year, I went to go speak uh, in Zurich to a large financial institution. And after I gave my keynote to the executive team, I met one-on-one -on -one with employees. And all the employees there told me the same thing. We love the corporate culture. We love our office. We're all thinking about leaving. <laughs> and I thought, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you want to leave this kind of a company if you love the people that you work with and if you love your physical space? It was a technology issue. Because employees didn't have the right access to tools and technologies at work, they became frustrated with their jobs. They couldn't do workplace flexibility programs. They couldn't invest in real-time feedback and communication and collaboration. The tools that they were using were literally designed and built in the 70s and the 80s. So what that tells us is that technology, we always assume is a separate thing that lives over here. But technology, when we don't put emphasis on it, becomes a human problem. When we don't invest in technology, it becomes a human problem. And when we don't have the right tools to do our jobs at work, the human aspects around technology start to break down. Trust, communication, collaboration, employee engagement, all of these things start to suffer when we don't have the tools that we need to get our jobs done at work. One of the things that I find very fascinating is that we talk about technology and its world-changing impacts, right? We talk about autonomous vehicles, we talk about AI and automation, we talk about robots, augmented and virtual reality, the internet of things, all these crazy technologies. Meanwhile, at work, we're still trying to figure out how to connect our printer to the Wi-Fi network. <laughs> Meanwhile, organizations around the world are still using Excel spreadsheets to keep track of all of their people data. So how does that make sense? How are we talking about all these crazy things in the technology world? Meanwhile, the tools that we're using to get our jobs done are still way down here. I think if we truly want to build this amazing world that's being powered by technology, we have to start with the people inside of our organizations who are building the very things that we're gonna use. So there's a big gap between where we think the world is going and where it should be going versus the reality of the tools and technologies that we're actually using at work today. So we have to start to close that gap. Now technology comprises 30% of an employee's overall experience. So your total overall employee experience about how you feel working for your organization, almost a third of it is shaped by the tools and the technologies that you use to get your job done. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Check out futureofworkpodcast.com for more content. And do me a favor, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever your preferred channel is. Thank you.